What's going on everyone? My name's AJ and today we're going to be reviewing the Vans Authentic One Piece VL Embroidered in Multicolor. So this shoe is a part of the Vans Vault collection and it comes in a Vans Vault box which is blue and it has the Vans logo print all around on the sides of the box and it comes with the typical Vans tissue paper which has the Vans in a very opaque and transparent logo and it doesn't come with any extra laces. So this shoe only comes with a pair of cream laces. I thought it was white at first, but it's actually a very, very faint cream. These shoes released earlier this week. I got them from undefeated.com and they also come in a red colorway. Leave a comment below, which one do you guys like better? Do you guys like this black and white colorway or the red colorway? So these shoes retail for $100. And I got them from undefeated.com direct. And you could probably check out their site right now. They likely have a select few sizes. So this shoe is a Vans Authentic, but it's all one piece, meaning that the upper is a mixture of canvas, which is the lower part of the shoe, and an elevated embroidered fabric that Vans has on there. And it's connected with these two seams on the back of the shoe. So you don't see the typical panels that an Authentic or even a Vans Arrow would have all around the upper of the shoe. It has a cream canvas lining. The Vans logo is right next to the side of the shoe, almost close to the back tab. And it feels really fuzzy, whereas the canvas, which is black, feels really flat. And the name of this shoe is Vans Authentic One Piece VL. What I think that means is the Vans logo. So VL Vans logo, which is right in the middle of the shoe. And these shoes have a tonal red back tab with the Vans off the wall logo on the back. And the outsoles are fully rubber with a white outsole with the signature waffle print on the bottom, that vulcanized rubber. And lastly, it just has this comfy cush insole. And what's cool about these insoles is that it also says Vans Vault on the insole instead of just Vans Comfy Cush. As far as sizing and fit, I would definitely say that these fit true to size, or at least for me they did. I wore them with a pair of black jeans, and I think they look pretty nice, but it's gonna be kinda hot in the summertime or warmer climates when you wear jeans. So I also wore them with a light pair of jeans, which has a lot of contrast and works well with this shoe, especially if it's more of a slim or even skinny fit. And lastly, I wore them with a pair of shorts. I think this is definitely the move for the summertime. Definitely gonna be wearing these shoes a lot during this warm weather climate. So my first pro is that these are a stylish twist on a classic silhouette, being that the fabric is really intricate, interesting, and the details, like almost any shoe that I review, it's kind of hard to see it in the video, so everyone knows the Vans checkered board print, but these have so much more intricate details, which is actually another pro of mine. The details and the quality of this shoe is top notch in regard to what Vans makes, whether it be the embroidery and a lot of their attention to detail, even with the comfy cush insole, like I said, this shoe is well worth the marked up price point of $100. And yeah, they just have a lot of intricate premium details that you're not gonna see in a typical Vans shoe. And my last pro is that they're really comfortable. I keep saying this on and on again, the Comfy Cush insole from Vans is probably one of the most comfortable insoles for a skateboarding shoe. And this is not necessarily a core skateboarding shoe, it's more so a lifestyle skateboarding shoe, but all in all for an authentic, this is one of the most comfortable authentics I've ever tried on. I just had a few cons. My first con was that this is relatively expensive for a Vans shoe. So this is from the Vans Vault collection and it's a little bit more rare because it's not considered a general release. So I definitely understand the marked up price point. And even though it is $100, that con isn't really that much justified because the quality speaks for the price. And my other con is that these are relatively limited and in a few years, these may be really hard to find like almost any other Vans Vault shoe. And those are my only two cons. It's a little bit expensive and quite limited. All in all, I'm gonna say that this shoe is a minimal, unique, and stylish take on the classic Vans Authentic VL checkered board print, especially with the back where you see the one piece embroidery. That detail really sold me when I looked at the pictures on undefeated.com. So I would definitely recommend this shoe to anyone that likes Vans, but if you don't wanna pay the price point, you could definitely just go and get the regular checkered board Vans and they'll be a little bit cheaper than these. Overall, it's just a really interesting shoe, especially that fabric. People are gonna look at it up close and be like, wow, could I like touch that shoe? I feel like the fabric is a little bit more of like a winter shoe because it looks a little more heavyweight. You could honestly wear this in any season. But what do you guys think about these shoes? Leave a comment below. Once again, my name's AJ. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys learned something or even enjoyed this video, 
please consider hitting the like, subscribe, or even notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let go. Peace.